Let's keep going with the remix session that we were working on earlier. As I have mentioned in the previous video, the bass line in this last bit didn't sound that interesting, especially with these repeated notes in here. Let's first listen to this part to see what was going on earlier. So we definitely need to build some tension in here before the reversed symbol starts. Let me show you now how I'm going to do that by adding a simple delay effect from within Expand 2. First let me go to the mix window and click on Expand 2 on the bass track. And down here I have Effect 2. This is where I'm going to put my delay. So first I'm going to load that delay preset and I'm going to automate the button of the effect to, to make sure that I'm able to have control over it when I want it to be on and when I want it to be off because remember I don't want the delay to be on in the first part of the song I just want it to be on in this specific part in here. So to do that as we have learned in previous videos I just need to hit the Control alt command key and then enable automation for effects to on. Then going back to my edit window, I click here and then go all the way down to access the effects to on automation curve. Once I've done that, I write my automation in here to make sure that my effect is on in this specific area of my bass track. Now that we've done that, let's listen and see how it sounds like now. As you can see, it wasn't that hard, was it? So in this case, we didn't really need complicated effects and complex concepts to make things sound more interesting. Now your bass line sounds interesting and the tension there is building just before the cymbal starts, which adds more to the tension before the vocal track kicks in. <laughs> 